and people saw this video and they said, man, AI is so far ahead of schedule. We want to get invested and we want to get exposure to the AI space. And so as this happened, people looked outside of OpenAI and they said, well, what other avenues can we get exposure to um, beyond just OpenAI? And so the immediate thought was, let's look at the crypto markets, among other things, right? And so people went and they bought pretty much every crypto related AI project that's on the market. So again, AGIX, GraphBet, you know, you name it, uh, Ocean, they all saw this massive, massive kind of increase uh, in terms of price. So let's throw up the charts over here and take a look at how some of these are doing. But if you're wondering as to the catalyst, the catalyst there was OpenAI putting out this video and everyone just got really excited about the AI space and they looked for alternative exposure uh, options. So if we look at AGIX, just over, I mean, really since like the end of January, just in the last month, this thing moved 151% to the upside. You look at FET, which was in a really deep situation prior to this. Uh, I think that this actually uh, you know, really helped out FET because again, they were having trouble with bankruptcy. They did about 114% in the last 16 or so days. Uh, Ocean was another one. In the last maybe 14 days from top to bottom, they did about 100% to where they're currently priced at. They're still up 72% in the last you know, two weeks. And then you have Graph over here, which if we look at Graph, Graph from top to bottom did about 86% in the last two weeks. And to where it's currently priced at, it's still up about 63%. So you look at all these charts, I just want to cycle through them again. You have AGIX, you have FET, you have Ocean, you have the Graph. All of these things, borderline parabolic, uh, pretty much in the last two weeks. And they're just riding the trails of OpenAI here. Now, if you remember, we saw something similar to this back at the beginning of 2023, because the same catalyst was kind of taking place here, where everyone was excited about the release of ChatGPT. It was something that they'd never seen before. And people were just excited about it. So they said, hey, how can I get alternative exposure? and they looked at the crypto markets. So this is that rally that I'm talking about where something like AGIX went from like 4 cents all the way up to like 60 cents and had this big kind of rise. Um, but now we're seeing the same sort of situation play out where again, it's not because of something that these projects did, but rather the space that they're in. So OpenAI was the catalyst then, and OpenAI is again the catalyst now. I think that the difference here is that instead of this time around being the introductory call, so to say, to the AI space, meaning that um, the last time that this happened, it introduced many people to AI. They were familiar with the term artificial intelligence, um, but they didn't really know how significant it was or how it could affect their daily lives. That was the kind of the introductory piece um, back in 2023, the beginning of it. This time around, many people are already familiar with AI, but this is just showcasing its improvements. So instead of them being introduced to it for the first time, they're seeing how it's improved about a year later. So I don't necessarily think that this immediate rally is going to be quite as sharp as the last one. The, the, you know, the last one did like 1,000 to 1,500 percent to the upside. I think this time around, it's very reasonable that we do a smaller move in the immediate time frame, and then as the bull run goes on, I think we can still accomplish really, really good gains in this sector, uh, especially over the long term. But I'm talking about the immediate reaction to this catalyst to this news is likely to be a little bit smaller for those reasons. So. Either way, AIs are booming over here. If you hold just about any AI-related crypto token, you're probably sitting pretty green right now. I mean, you could be green on AGIX so long as you pretty much invested at any point in its history with the exception of like a few days, which not many other crypto projects <laughs> can say at the moment. That's wild. So lots of cool stuff kind of... Uh, Lots of lots of cool stuff happening here, and that that's uh I, this is what I learned today. So this is why you listen to the show. Is that was a great point by you pointing out the Chat GPT intro and kind of saw the same price action. I wasn't really even thinking of that. Um, it made sense when you said the Soros made you know the the Soro made it pop, but then comparing that to the Chat GPT, it's like man, it's narratives, 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 narratives. 